I'm going to hand you back over to Joe Guest and the lovely Marisa Andor. Take care. Let's see. Hi, Joe. Well, uh, there's a few things. Uh, first of all, you are born under Life Force 7, mm -hmm. which means whatever you would do, you would become famous. You've got no way out. Okay, But you would often have felt uh, inside, maybe as a child, that other people have got it all worked out and you haven't. Like They know what they're doing and that you don't. Do you ever have, remember feeling that way? Like kind of. They've got it sorted and you haven't. But yeah. actually it's an illusion because you're born with it sorted before you got here. Okay? okay. Honestly. And uh, so that's the first thing. Now, five, six years ago, I feel in one way you went to hell and back. It's like you had to redefine every aspect of who you were. So around 2000, 2000, 2001, mm -hmm. I've got you going through a tricky patch where you rethink your life. Do you remember doing that? I got heartbroken. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Heartbroken. Who the hell am I? Where do I belong? What do I want? What's right for me? Who's right for me? Why have people been so nasty to me and so on and so forth? That's a, that was the big turning point. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Now, fortunately, you should be healing from that soon because it takes a long time. That kind of pain for someone like you stayed and played on your mind right up until even recently. I, <laughs> Probably yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, um, earlier when we met, uh, I had a message, which I'm going to give you again now on it. There's two things that are predominantly coming forward before I get into any more of the reading. The first thing is you have a huge career break within the realms of this year. Something you're not aware of that will just land out the blue that will put you where you want to be financially. Okay. That's something coming that I'm so clear on. It started the cycle of it started February 22nd. So between now and next February 22nd, you should land something fantastic. Okay. I really see that clearly. Um, I, I must be in television because I can't see what else, unless you did a West End show. Uh, no, 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 because no, I, I, I didn't explain what I mean. You say hardly, but unless you started doing something like um, a do singer dance, are you okay? No, you know, I'm not I, even I, whistling. Just wondered, no, 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 because the reason I asked was, you know, if I didn't know you and we were at home, I might say, oh, you might get a West End show like Chicago or something, but you don't do that sort of thing. So it only leads to either acting or TV presenting because you can act. That's okay. a hidden talent for sure. I mean, you share your birthday with the late Sir John Mills. Mm -hmm. And my friend Joe Cortese was on my other show who has done, well, about 70 films. Uh, it's, it's an actor's birthday that you have, believe it or not. You're born on the cusp of Aquarius and uh, Pisces. But so back, back to what I was saying. So I see a huge career break around you, followed by the biggest love relationship of your life, which earlier, what was interesting, you said at this point in your life, you've had enough, you need some time out which I respect. But remember, the universal God have a lot of fun with this. You know, John Lennon's saying about, if you want to hear God laugh, tell him your plans. You know, or uh, what's the other one? Um, yeah, you know, basically, if you want to hear God laugh, tell him your plans. And the other one is, life's what happens while you're making plans. Mm -hmm. They're very clever. Now, at this point, you've taken charge, you've taken control, and you think you've worked a few things out. And what I want to tell you is that next year, someone's going to walk into your life and that'll be it. Done. Finished. Okay. And then I see you getting married and having children which is something that up to this point you've been confused about because of disappointments in the past. Mm -hmm. Now, also about four years ago, I feel you've got some really good ideas about things that you want. And I feel that the end of this year and beginning of next year, those ideas become reality. Does that make any sense? Did you have some fresh ideas about four years ago? Some sort of plans maybe? The, yes, kind of in my head. And That's what I'm talking about, in your head, yes. Yeah, um, those are going to come into reality now in the next 18 months. At the moment, you feel like you're walking on quicksand most of the time. It's like an anxious feeling, like crossing eggshells. Mm -hmm. It's an anxiety-ridden state that you're in. It's not, it's not purely negative, because it, it also forces you forward. There's unexpected money to land in your lap, but there's also a big career break. Okay. Um, it's interesting, because I'm just trying to work out, 18 years ago would be 88. Is that when you first came down to London? Probably. I'm not very good with my maths, but I was no. about 18. You were 18. 18 at the and time. And you're now 34. Uh, so 18 and now. Because two cycles of nine ago would bring you back to five. That's my, my madness, but okay. it works. It would be 1988-89. And that's when I remember seeing you before you, just, just when you very first started. And um, I feel a huge event, career-wise, is, is imminent. Okay. And I'm not making it up. I see it. You have been feeling anxious lately. Last year, you laid a lot of groundwork for work. You put a lot of effort in. Lots of scheming, lots of planning. Hasn't all paid off yet. Mm -hmm. But it will. It will. And you were very unhappy again about three, two, two years ago. Very unhappy. And also five, six years ago, very unhappy. There's two time frames there. Okay. Not so unhappy now. Now, there's also a big spiritual journey that you're on at the moment. 
And this is, this is leading to a rethink on everything about you. And I think you're literally becoming somebody else. And by the new year, you'll be confident to be 100% that new version of you. Okay. Which you're halfway through at the moment. Also, this, this new love is tailor-made. So in the past, I think, as we all go through experiences in today's world, you meet people and they may not be quite what you thought they were. And therefore, you're left damaged and hurt and disappointed. And, you know, being in the field of enterprise you've been in over the years, in one way, your door was open for some aggravation because you mm -hmm. would meet different people who met you for different reasons. But I, I feel this guy um, is very in tune uh, with you. And I think you two will go off into the sunset. I suppose you're surprised by me bringing that up at this point, but that's next year. Okay. And it's really clear. I mean, it's not like there's any doubts here. This is why I put, put my life on it. Okay. okay, and then you have children, which I don't know if you've ever considered or not. Definitely You're, not. Definitely not. <laughs> well, I think you will. Okay. And now you've got Moon in Gemini, which means you're in, you mean you definitely never thought about having them. Uh, yeah, I. You made a decision. You definitely don't want them. I kind of thought it's not for me. Motherhood routine didn't feel oh, like it, it was. I don't think it'll necessarily be quite as routine as that, because I mean, he's remember this guy fits you. It's like the glove for your hands. So between you, it's the natural thing that you'll end up doing. If, okay. if you had, the, let me do it a different way. Let me rephrase the question. If you met someone that was absolutely your ideal, which you don't even really know what it is anymore mm -hmm. because you've been hurt so much and played with and toyed in your own mind as well, and with Moon in Gemini, you have been fairly changeable in life because you live in your head, you know, Moon in Gemini. But allowing for that, if, if someone came along that was literally another version of you but in the male form, and you two got together and you found yourself incredibly happy, what do you think you'd think about then, from the point of view of children? Do you think it would have any change? Then it could be a possibility. That's right, because on your hand are two or three kids. Throw two one. or three. <laughs> not that and many. you're not very old, and you're born <laughs> under the Chinese sign of the rat. Mm -hmm. And the rat is the homemaker. Rats are the best mothers of the zodiac. For example, Gwyneth Paltrow is a rat. Mm -hmm. She's a Libran rat. But, you know, rats are homemakers. So later on, I feel this will happen to you, but not very far at all you know within the next couple of years you're already with the guy and you're already talking about the children okay. you know so that's a pre pretty big stuff isn't <laughs> <Yeah>. it <laughs> um and i think you'll really be a brilliant mother and a brilliant wife actually it's it's all works now that moon in gemini means you're very good at doing things do you do lots of things around the house do you do, do you busy doing stuff i know you said you don't like to cook but do you do stuff like i don't know curtains or sewing or whatever it is or something not so much crafty, but um, I always like to be doing something. So you are fiddling around all the time, but yeah, not crafty. Because I felt that, you know, those hands like to move around. They don't sit still. You don't feel to me like sitting in the chair doing nothing type of person. No. no. And, uh, you know, I felt you're quite capable at whatever you turn your hand to. When I looked at your hands, they showed you're incredibly good at commitment. That's why you've been hurt. Look, I'll show you. When I took your hand, it doesn't bend. Do you see that? How it doesn't mm -hmm. bend? Mine also doesn't. You can try it. It won't bend. That's because, see, it doesn't bend. It's when you're okay. good at commitment, right? These are ambition, but yours is indirect ambition. You've also got fame just here, and you've got an <coughs> excellent brain for business as well. But you, you've been, up until this point, maybe a little nervous to fully use your business acumen. Maybe it's only coming into from next year, really. But definitely there's children on your hand for sure. So, I mean, it's up to you what you do with that, but they're there. And this is the hand of someone who's going to end up, you know, in a more traditional role in life. I mean, I see a, a big career again, but then after that, a calming down and uh, marriage and kids. Listen, can I just go back a little bit, if I can make? Because so you started speaking about around the house then. I know you did have a specific question, didn't you? And oh, about the flat. I would love you, because I know we've only got a couple of minutes left of this reading. I'd love oh, you I'm to gonna, get I'm some questions answered. Okay, I'll answer that question. Sorry, I went all over the place. Okay. I feel you've got unexpected financial improvements. Substantial, unexpected money. Have a look at my website afterwards. You'll find out that what I tell people stuff, wacky, mad stuff like this one will be president and that one will get married to this one and so on. It always comes true. Okay. You've got money to come and a big career break, followed by a huge love. Yes, I think you'll end up getting that flat. Have you already exchanged, but you can't seem to get to complete or you haven't exchanged yet? Um, I've put the offer in. I'm renting it now, but I've put the offer in, but the council made some mistakes and there's been legal problems. Okay. I think you'll get past all of them and if you really, really want it, I think you'll get it. But I'm seeing you having more money. I'm seeing you having a big surprise. Now. Anytime. 
So unless you've already had since February till now a surprise in your career, have you? No, not right. yet. It's still there. We're in July.